So now that we've gotten the domain name and the hosting, the next thing we need to do is to start another process that will help us build a website, right? First step, remember, was to get a domain name and then a hosting. And then we did that together with Kyocera. But you need to know that um, Kyocera is a web hosting company, but we need one particular thing that will help us to build the website, to organize everything so that it becomes beautifully looking like most websites that you see. And that software is called the WordPress software. It's called WordPress. It helps you to build websites. So what are we going to do? We need to install WordPress into our hosting control panel, right? Now, for you to access your control panel with Kill Servers, you need to go to www.yourdomainname. In this case, www.quota.com forward slash cpanel. That's where we will access the platform to be able to install WordPress. And then when we install WordPress, I will show you again how to log into WordPress to be able to build your website. Just follow through. It's not technical in case you're a beginner, right? So now look at the screen. The first thing you probably want to do is to check to see if your domain name has been gotten. So log into your server. Alternatively, they're going to send you a series of emails to your email, um, domain name registration confirmation, and Kyocera web space details and all of that. We are going to use that to be able to log in and continue our work, right? Good. So if you log into the, to this area and you click on domains, my domains, you will realize that you have one domain here. So you see the first domain I was trying to buy that was not approved, it was canceled. So that's, by the way, this quota.com.ng is available. So it's active. So you can see this key here with the red flag. It means that the website is not secured. Yes. If you remember the SSL certificate I talked about helps your website to be secure, but I'll show you later how to get a free SSL certificate for a small website or blog like your own, right? So that's it. This is where we are now. But if we want to begin to build a website, we need to go to the C panel of this cure server and it's www.web your domain name forward slash c panel alternatively go to the email there's one email they will send you and it's the web space email showing you the web space so just click on it if you open the email you're going to see many things you just read through right and you will see most of the things most of the things are technical to you in case you don't know so your new account info is quota.com if you click on this it's not going to take you to anywhere right because you've not built anything and that's it but how do we get into this so look at where you've been asked to go to control panel so this is your domain name forward slash control panel right and you will see the password to log in and the username to log in whichever your own is you know so just click on this or type it manually and you will access the cpanel area so this is the login area to your cpanel right simply put in the details that you were given in your email go to your email and copy them right away make sure you find um, your own username from your email so click on the login you should be able to log into your cure server if you notice here this is not secure so we're going to secure it later what's happening here this is the dashboard of the c panel right look at it c panel so scroll down to the bottom until you find subtaculous apps installer right what you're looking to install is the wordpress software you can do that or either type here Softaculous. Softaculous apps installer. And, and you will be shown WordPress. You should select WordPress. There are other softwares to build a website, but WordPress is the most popular one. So click on install. Now, this is very important, right? When you click on install, you're going to see quick install. 
or this area to write in most of the things you need to do so come to this place where you say choose installation url change this to https right https not http not http www change to https and then leave this uh, empty leave this empty don't worry about this and then you can choose what your site name is i will just leave this for now or you choose to say i'll just call it anything i'll just say connect with vendors for your event anything at all this is going to be anything at all and then your username is going to be admin and um, site description you can put anything else it could be this one too and all of that right you decide to just call this quota it's not really necessary but whatever you want to call it it's fine so leave this your password can be anything your admin password this is where you set the password that you will use to log into your wordpress so you can call this anything so make sure you set the correct password and make sure you also set the correct pass correct username and ensure that you save them very important Sure that this is saved um this website should be in english backups you can click this limit login attempts so this is going to help people who try to log into your pass to your wordpress uh, website without the correct password to probably not be able to log in you can do this or not enable classic editor it's fine you need this and then select team this is not this is not important for now we are going to select our team eventually so it we will discuss about what a team is right but make sure that you select all the things i've selected and um, your password is also set and then this email here is default you probably want to keep it like that we'll discuss more about this later once you're done click on install and give it some time to install it's going to return Yep, yeah, so we, we need to we need to check something again. Installation cannot proceed because the following field does not exist in the target folder. Please select the checkbox over all files and continue. Yeah, so just check this box, right? And come down, click on advance and um, do not auto upgrade. Database name, yeah, this and all of that. Auto upgrade WordPress themes, auto upgrade WordPress plugins. Don't worry about that. You can upgrade manually later. And then backup location, leave it to default and click on install. And installation is going to happen. Give it some time and it's going to happen. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll see you soon. congratulations your website has been installed successfully right the software has been installed successfully so what do we do next we need to log in to our wordpress dashboard you can quickly do that by clicking on this link here or type in your website name like quota.com.ng forward slash wp dash admin right follow me the first time we tried to log into our control panel where we control the website and we used your website name.com.ng forward slash c panel now we installed what is going to help us to build the website and that's called wordpress to be able to build the website we also need to log in to the word to the wordpress dashboard and that's when you use this link on the screen replace the domain name with your own so just click here and then 
is going to take you to where you're going to log into your WordPress. This connection, your connection is not private. Don't worry about this. This is because this is because we've not installed the security uh, software that is called SSL certificate. So click on advance if you see this kind of message and click here on proceed to quota.com.ng. It's saying or save, but it on save, but it's fine. Just click and uh, it's still going to take you there. Good. So this is where we are. We're going to log in using that password that we set before. Remember? So So now you have access to your WordPress dashboard. Beautiful. This is where the whole magic happens. This is where you're going to build the whole website and make sure that everything works, right? And um, now that we're here, I'll be right back to show you everything that you need to know.